Hello, my friends. Uh, welcome to a new chapter of El Auriga del Arte. Today, we are going to talk about climate. Yes, about climate, and more precisely, about the oceanic climate. First of all, let me remind you the main difference between weather and climate. I know you know it, but it's better to remind. Weather is what we have today or at this uh, moment, so on one uh, single day. But uh, climate is what we have always. It's a kind of statistics. It's the general climate, the general state of the atmosphere we have uh, in a certain place, but uh, generally speaking. Okay, so today we are going to talk about the oceanic climate. And first, I would like to tell you about the different climates on the Earth. Uh, we can classify them according to the latitude or to the zone where they are. So we have, for example, the warm climates in the warm zone or hot zone, uh, for example, the equatorial climate or the desert climate or the tropical climate. Then we have the temperate climates in the temperate zone, like the oceanic climate here where we are, for example, or the Mediterranean climate or the continental climate. We have also Chinese climate and many other ones. And finally, we have the or cold climates, for example, the polar climate in the North and South Poles and the high mountain climate, which is also, of course, a cold. But what are the main features, the main characteristics of a climate which allow us to identify it? Okay, the main elements which we have to study to identify a climate are two, the temperatures and the precipitation. Okay, so uh, the oceanic climate has uh, very mild temperatures because uh, we have uh, here, where we are, for example, um, cool summers and, uh, yes, mild winters. And uh, what about the precipitation? Well, it's a very rainy climate, I have to say, but with fine, persistent rain almost all year round. With all this rain and water, of course, we have a very, very green landscape full of forests, trees and rivers, as you can see. Look at this, for example. It's a very deep forest with a lot of water. It's really amazing. So green and humid. The main forest of the oceanic climate is the deciduous forest. That is to say, a forest which trees uh, lose their leaves during autumn, during the fall, of course, and before doing so, they change color into many, many different uh, colors, warm colors such as uh, red, yellow, brown, etc. And the main trees are uh, the oak tree and the book tree, mainly. You can easily recognize an oak tree thanks to the shape of its leaves with these curvy lines. And this is a book tree, Fagus sylvatica, a really beautiful tree. In autumn, its leaves change into thousands of colors, red, yellow, brown. It's really, really beautiful. The landscape of the oceanic climate is very green and humid, as you can see. And uh, where there's no forest, what we usually find is uh, mainly meadows and some trees, and also cows or sheep eating grass. Everything is green here. And here's the reason why the temperatures in the oceanic climate are milder than the rest. It is the sea, yes. But why is that? It is because the water gets cold or warm more slowly than the earth. So when uh, summer comes, for example, and it's very hot uh, in the atmosphere, the water 
in the in the sea is still cool so it uh, refreshes the, the ambience and vice versa when winter comes and it is very cold the water uh, in the sea is still warm so it creates a uh, more uh, warm in the atmosphere so when uh, we are near the sea the temperatures are milder than in other climates